What is up guys, Tasa Coin here, and today I'm going to be telling you the best armor to be entering the Ashlands with. And just a quick heads up, it's not going to be any of these. The actual best armor to be entering the Ashlands is this guy, and I actually never expected it. So instead of wasting your time, let me just get straight into it. Right here I'm in full Carpus, and we're going to be facing off against a Twitcher. This is just to give you an example of what this guy's going to hit you for in full Carpus. The Chard are going to be one of your more common mobs, and this is going to be a guy that you're going to see quite often in the Ashlands. As you see, he's actually not doing too much damage, and Carpus actually seems like a decent option to enter the Ashlands with. Now, here's one of the scarier enemies that you're going to run into that are pretty common, which is a Chard Warrior, and these guys are fairly common. Oh, and look at that damage, 55. Yeah, this guy is hitting us a good bit harder than the Twitcher. Not very fun to get hit by him. So this is an excellent example of the Carpus. It can take a couple of hits from this guy, but really doesn't want to sustain it. About something also scary, one of these charred warlocks, which is going to hit like a truck and, sp and spawns these twitchers. If I did not make myself invincible right now, I would definitely be dead. Last one I want to show you real quick is the charred archer. Damage isn't too bad from this guy. 16, very minimal. 14, not the end of the world. Maybe if he was a one star or two star, he'd be a little bit scarier, but realistically, he might just be a nuisance more than anything. Now let's show you how full carpus deals with something of actual substance this right here is a morgan and they are scary please stop breaking my little testing facility and come beat me up 54 damage you are not taking many of these he will tear you up 58 just like he's tearing up my little facility yeah 50 this guy doesn't take a quick little repair montage now, like many of you, I thought it was going to either be the Carpus armor or full Fenris. That was going to be the primary two choices for what I should be wearing into the Ashlands. But between you and me, I think the Fenris armor is just a little too squishy, even considering that you might be using a Staff of Protection. Because it's only going to take a couple hits to break that Staff of Protection bubble. And just a heads up, it is on sight out there in the Ashlands. You better be prepared. They are everywhere. You are getting hit constantly. You need to be able to take a hit and... Fenris just isn't for me. I'm not going to say there aren't people who are excellent at using this armor, who got a need for speed, but that's just not me. So let me show you what I will be using. And you're probably going to be surprised considering it's the Ashlands. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you might recognize this guy. Carpus helmet, root chest, Fenris legs. This is the best combination of protection and movement that I can currently come up with, and oddly enough, possibly, in my opinion, the best option to be entering the Ashlands with. But instead of just telling you how great it is, let me show you. So here's a Twitcher, pretty general guy we're going to see out there in the Ashlands. Let's see what he hits me for. All right, 4.1 from that stone. I guess that's piercing damage. 35. Come on, don't be shy. 31. So we're taking, on average, about 10 more damage than when we were full Carpus from this guy and yeah we're gonna see the twitchers a lot so overall i would say carpus gives you more protection versus the twitchers versus this mixed armor now here's the biggest surprise of them all that warrior guy that was messing us up in our carpus armor let's see how he hits us now 20.3 18.4 and that's where it starts to click 62.6 .6. this guy on at least half of his moves does pierce damage i don't lie part of me is like do i even really need to show you the archer like come on yeah this guy was annoying in full carpus hitting you for like maybe 20 25 30 somewhere in that ballpark this is this is just something you can ignore like yeah it's inconvenient losing six health at a time you can really just ignore the marksman if you're wearing the root chest but here's the real surprise of it all the morgan this guy was hitting me for about 50 let's see what he hits me for now oh would you look at that i'm taking half damage from the Morgan. Literally all of his damage pierce, and I'm very upset that he's messing up my little arena. This threat, this absolute unit, has been reduced to being less of a threat than a Twitcher. Let that sink in. Now you might be like, Toss, come on, man. Show me the mage. Do it. You won't. Roots weak to fire. Why would you bring the root chest into the Ashlands? Well, listen up, because Papa Toss has a solution. But time for another repair montage. So I won't lie, if you're wearing the root armor, you're going to get absolutely cooked by these mages. 
and that sucks. However, I want you to just take a peek at my inventory real quick. What's that? Oh, that's fire resistance barley wine. Let's take that. Now let's see this guy hit us a little bit. Direct hit, and honestly, it doesn't even matter. The warlock is now literally useless against us. Honestly, his twitchers are the bigger threat. These guys aren't too tough though, because they have low health. Now, if we have to do any major takeaways from this video, I want you to just know that you should be wearing the root chest once again for when you are entering the Ashlands. I haven't tested the new Ashlands armor and I can only assume that they have to be an improvement over making sure that you wear a root chest. It's hard to recommend full Carpus or full Fenris when I can get the fire resistance of Fenris through a barley wine. I can get arguably better protection than full Carpus while still maintaining a speed that is competitive to Fenris. And if your response to the root chest is, Toss, I don't feel like wearing the root chest because I don't feel like constantly using barley wine, so I'm just gonna go with full Carpus. I want you to realize that you're still gonna want those barley wines because the fire damage from those charred mages will really start to stack up without it. For my speedy full Fenris edgelord boys, I think the Fenris armor is just too squishy for the Ashlands. Yeah, you can run the Staff of Protection, but then you're starting to mix your Eider, Stamina, and Health and you have to make sacrifices. In a biome where you're going to want as much Stamina as possible to get away from any possible threats, it seems counterintuitive to start cutting into your Stamina just for a little bit of Eider for some protection to get a little bit more speed. Especially when I've shown it before, the speed is not that big of a difference between Mixed Armor and Full Fenris. And because I don't want you down in the comments saying, oh, I'm going to run Full Fenris Toss, you're just bad. I want to clarify, there are people out there who are good enough to run full Fenris and they will not get hit the entire time in this set. That is not me. And that is probably not most of y'all watching. So hopefully this information was helpful and this helps you survive longer in the Ashlands. Let me know what armor you plan on entering the Ashlands with. And as always guys, see you next time.